This is Danielle. And Jordan. And we are from levelupyourdining.com where we geek out on food. All the time. And this is part three of our Game of Thrones series of cocktails, which I am super excited about. Mm -hmm. uh, so far we've already done Baratheon and Lannister. And so what's part three? Part three we are going to go down to the southernmost part of Westeros to Dorne and do House Martell. This drink is called the Sand Snake. So... Here's what we're going to need for the Sand Snake. We're going to start out with tequila, which everybody loves. Especially me. Yes. We're going to need some sweet vermouth. We need some gallo. We need some triple sec, orange liqueur. And then the kind of oddball curveball ingredient is hot sauce. We use Cholula. And you're going to need some Angostura. Bitters, which are probably the hardest thing to find. You can get them most specialty grocery stores or uh, bigger liquor stores will probably have them as well. So, you ready for the Sand Snake? Oh, I'm ready. All right, all right. We're going to set aside the bitters for now. Those don't come in until afterwards, but these four guys are all going to go in our cocktail shaker. So, we'll start out with three parts tequila. So this is the drink that I was most hesitant about, just because it has the hot sauce in it. So if you're kind of weirded out, I totally get it. But it actually isn't too spicy, and it's really unique and interesting. And our philosophy with Level Up Your Dining is all about being impressive with food. So um, taking what you normally do, if, you, if you're into food, if you love cocktails, uh, eating out, whatever it is, and kind of bumping it up a level. So this is definitely one of those drinks that will impress people. Yeah, I'd say, yeah, it's definitely the most interesting of the Game of Thrones drinks we came up with, the most kind of out of left field of all of them. So I don't know if you saw how much I did. I did three parts tequila to one part of both the vermouth and the triple sec. And then the hot sauce is the last thing you add to the cocktail shaker, and you can kind of customize it based on how spicy you like your stuff. Um, but you do need that spice. That's what makes the drink have that interesting flavor. So I'll just put a couple pats of the hot sauce in there. And by a couple, he meant like four. Yeah. Instead of two. You know, doesn't follow the rules of what a couple means. I don't. I don't always do that. He's a rebel. So those four get mixed up in our shaker. Gives us this nice golden red color, which we can pour into our martini glass. Delicious and beautiful. It looks really, really nice, especially once it kind of settles a little bit. You get that kind of desert sunset. And then we just put a little bit of bitters on the top, add a little punch to it. So we've done, so far we've done Baratheon and Lannister, which you can find in the links below. And we, and by we, I mean Jordan, <laughs> came up with these while playing um, the board game. So if you are into the board game, we will have all the cocktails for that in this series. Mm -hmm. Now you can give one to each house and can all enjoy it. So tell me what you think of the Sand Snake. Spicy enough? Just right. All right, I got to make sure you're not just pulling my leg here. That was delicious. So, thanks for watching, and um, keep coming back. Like I said, we'll have more Game of Thrones cocktails. Once we run out of Game of Thrones cocktails, we'll show you some other ones, too. And these work even if you're not a Game of Thrones fan. They're still delicious in a big way. Um, so, follow us on YouTube. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And we're on like, everything else, too. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Instagram. Pinterest. Yeah, so you can find us all over the place at Level Up Your Dining. Send us an email. Shoot us a comment. Tell us what you want to see. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.